there are days where you feel like oh i'm perfectly okay right now i'm no longer depressed i'm no longer sad yes i got my groove back my dear the next minute i just feel like oh god i'm just tired of this life hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber i just want to say a very big thank you because i know there are millions of videos out there on youtube that you could have been watching but look at you watching my video right now i'm so grateful i don't take you for granted and i love you so much and if this is your first time on this channel you're absolutely welcome i'm super excited to have you on my channel i just need you to do a favor real quick can you see any red button down yeah like it looks red and it starts there's something like an sub like something subscribe on it just kindly click on it like just click on it please i'm sure it's not gonna take you up to a minute no it's never take you up to a minute it's like 30 seconds or 20 seconds or 10 seconds or even five seconds i'm sure by now you should have clicked on it please kindly click and subscribe to my channel so today is tuesday and it only means one thing five over five with rj um i'm not talking to everybody this video is not for everybody if you've not been feeling yourself lately if you've been feeling down if you've been feeling depressed lately then this video is for you personally i know what depression is i was there like two years ago i hope and i trust that one day i'm gonna have the courage to tell you guys what led to my depression but that story for another day on today's episode i just want to share with you guys five tips that can help you feel better the first thing is to come to terms with whatever is making you feel down you have to identify it and be very very sincere with yourself for example could it be because a friend is doing better than you or for example you just got out of a bad relationship a toxic relationship and because it was a toxic re relationship you're feeling like oh i'm not supposed to feel bad about it i'm not supposed to feel down it's not supposed to get to me because after all um it's for my own well-being and all yes you could have been for your own well-being but the fact that you invested into that relationship you actually loved that person but and you still obviously love that person but you just have to do what you have to do it doesn't mean you shouldn't feel bad about it or it shouldn't get to you so the first thing is for you to identify whatever is causing you that pain, whatsoever is causing you that depression, whatsoever is making you feel down. Identify it and come to terms with it. Like, be very sincere with yourself. If you like, you can even get a pen and a paper and write it down. It can even be more than one. Just write it out first. That's the first step at least know where the problem is coming from. So the second thing is for you to open up to somebody about it. I know sometimes this can be very challenging because you open up to certain people and they be like oh, uh, this small thing is making you feel down or they'll start looking at you one type of eye i'm not saying you should go and talk to those type of people open up to somebody that you trust somebody that you know is not going to judge you and if you don't even have those type of people around you you can talk to a stranger if you feel like nobody around you is worthy enough to hear whatever is bothering you talk to someone else talk to somebody that does he know you before you know it's actually very very possible but don't keep it to yourself because the mistake that a lot of us make most time is to keep things to ourselves and the more you keep things to yourself the more it causes damage so you have to open up talk to somebody even if it's one person at least you should have one person that you trust enough to be able to open up to and they will not judge you and they will be able to share your pains and like i said if you want to talk to a stranger please go ahead just ensure that you're not keeping it to yourself do more things that make you happy and also spend time with a lot of people yes i understand that because of this lockdown it's very very difficult to spend time with people but then you have family members and even if you don't have family members you should all you can talk to your friends or talk to somebody that makes you happy via the phone you can do video calls and anytime because to be honest there are days whereby you feel like oh i'm perfectly okay right now i'm no longer depressed i'm no longer sad yes i got my groove back my dear, the next minute, I just feel like, oh God, I'm just tired of this life. You know, it's like, I don't know how to put it. It's like an on and off thing. So at that moment where you feel depression thinking, that sadness or that bad feeling is beginning to come out again. Don't just stay by yourself. If you want, if there's somebody you can talk to at home, go and talk to that person or you message your friend or you message a friend or call somebody. Just do things that will make you happy. Do things that's going to distract you from thinking about whatever is making you feel down. You need to stop comparing yourself with people. 
the only reason why you might feel like you're not doing enough or you feel like oh your effort is not fruitful and all is because you are looking at somebody else or you can start feeling like oh mr a and i still doing this exact thing at the same time but it seems like mr a is even doing better than me comparison is a very very slow killer you know i always tell myself that everybody's different and everybody's time is different if somebody's doing better than i am doing i'm going to rejoice with you as a matter of fact if i will carry it on my head i will rejoice with you because when you rejoice with people your own time too will come and the way god created everybody everybody's time is different so you need to stop comparing yourself with people just stay in your own lane appreciate yourself if you feel like you're not doing enough you can put in effort and if you feel like you're doing enough and it's still not yielding results don't feel discouraged always have it at the back of your mind that one day is going to be your turn as long as you are doing the right thing so just be easy on yourself stay on your own lane and don't compare yourself with people so the final thing i'm going to say right now is for you to seek help i know talking to a therapist or a psychologist or an emotional you know it's not really common here in nigeria because we just feel like oh we are so strong and all please if you know you've tried everything else you've tried to do things that make you happy you've tried to address the issue personally you've tried to spend time with people and all of these things are not working please be cool no seek help talk to a therapist talk to a psychologist talk to somebody that is involved in mental health just somebody that can help you seek for professional help don't feel like oh you are too strong you can overcome it that's how people commit suicide because they actually suppress things within themselves and feel like oh they can handle it and before you know they are gone please don't let it get to that stage seek help today i just want to end this video by saying this if you've not been feeling so well lately you don't have to pretend that you're doing well you can open up to somebody about it and just and if you've tried everything and it's not working out seek help and also don't compare yourself with other people for the fact that this is a person is doing better than you today doesn't mean that tomorrow is not gonna be your turn for the fact that and don't be too hard don't be too hard on yourself that you're not doing enough and don't be too hard on yourself that you're not doing enough try as much as possible to appreciate the little things appreciate your little efforts appreciate your little successes celebrate your little successes you know just be your biggest fan at the end of the day and if you need somebody to talk to you can always reach out to me i don't mind i'm gonna listen and i'm going to cry with you if you want to cry if you want somebody to cry with you i'm willing to cry with you you know i just want you to feel fine at the end of the day because i know what it means to be depressed i know what it means to feel down so i'm always very very excited when people when people open up to me about their situation and i'm always willing to help when i can help and so that's it guys i i don't know what else to say just be good and just know that i love you and so many people love you out there so thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up i'll be back next week